Hey guys, welcome to the video. This video will be a tad different than the traditional best in slot build guide, as we're going to be covering two in today's video. We will be covering both of the 5.56 by 45 mm AKs, the AK-101 as well as the AK-102. With the recent buff to the AK platform, these two weapons are more viable than ever, and if you haven't used them, I'd recommend trying them out just for the sake of it. The reason that I'm covering these weapons simultaneously is that they have strengths and weaknesses that counter one another, so it is ultimately down to the user to pick which statistics are more important to them. I will be covering these statistics more in depth later on in the video, but here's a sort of simple way to pick the AK-101 versus the AK-102, as well as whether you'd like to run the weapon suppressed or unsuppressed. Let's start from the top. If you use the AK-102 rather than the AK-101, you benefit from plus one ergonomics, but gain two additional units of vertical recoil and three units of horizontal recoil. The AK-102 is also shorter, so the weapon will take one less units of length in your inventory in direct comparison to the AK-101. The AK-101 in turn will have the inverse of these numbers. The AK-101 will have one less ergonomics, but benefit from two less units of vertical recoil and three less units of horizontal recoil. From these options, pick the one that you prefer. Next up, we have the muzzle device. The 5.56mm AKs being the only weapons on the AK platform where a suppressed option is viable. If you decide to go unsuppressed, you will have 19 units of ergonomics in hand above the suppressed version. The downside is that you will have an additional 4 units of vertical recoil and 12 units of horizontal recoil. Once again, if we look at the suppressed version, we see the inverse. We lose out on 19 units of ergonomics, and besides the extra unit of length taken up by the suppressor as well as it being quieter, you will also benefit from 4 less units of vertical recoil and 12 less units of horizontal recoil. If these numbers are confusing, no worries, all 4 variants will be explained in further detail later. For now, let's get into the builds. We're going to start with the AK-102. First up is the GASP tube. We're going to be using the AK-74 gas tube, but you just use whichever one comes with the weapon you purchase. Next up, we're going to be using the Aeronox Scorpius pistol grip. You can also use the RK-3 as they are identical, however the Scorpius is cheaper. Next up, we're going to be using the AK-74 AK-100 PT lock in combination with the Zenit PT-3 Klaska stock. Next up, we're going to be putting on the Zenit RP-1 charging handle. And then for our dust cover, we're going to be using the Academia Bastion dust cover. With this on our weapon, we can move over to our handguard. We're going to be using the B-34 grip and rail mount. And once this is on, we can go ahead and add our flashlight. The flashlight that I prefer is the Steiner D-Val PL flashlight, as I believe that it has the best functionality. However, this comes down to personal preference, and you should use whichever one you prefer. For our muzzle devices, this comes down to whether you'd like to use it suppressed or unsuppressed. For now, we're going to go ahead and start with the suppressed version. We're going to be using the CNC Warrior AK 5.56mm muzzle device. With this on our weapon, we can go ahead and put on the AAC Blackout 51T flashlighter. And finally, we can go ahead and add the final piece to it, the AAC 7.62 SDN6 sound suppressor. Once this is on, we can move to our final part. The final part is going to be the Fortis Shift Tactical Grip. And once this is on our weapon, our weapon is finally complete. If we look over, we can see that our ergonomics are at 66, our vertical recoil is at 47, and our horizontal recoil is at 133. That being said, if you want to use this weapon unsuppressed, the best muzzle device is the JMAC RRD 4C Muzzle Brake. With this on our weapon, our ergonomics are at 85, our vertical recoil is at 51, and our horizontal recoil is at 145. With the AK-102 out of the way, we can now look at the AK-101, which is very similar. We're going to use the same pistol grip, the Aeronox Scorpius pistol grip, as well as the same stock, the combination AK-74 AK-100 PT lock with the Zenit PT-3 Klaska stock. We're going to be using the same charging handle, the Zenit RP-1, as well as the same dust cover, the Academia Bastion dust cover. Where it's different is our gas tube and handguard. We're going to be using a combination, the VS-24 handguard. This comes in both black and white, so you use the one that you prefer. I like to add a 2 inch guide to fill up this slot, however this is unnecessary, so you can choose to either fill it or leave it empty. 
Next up, we're going to be adding a 4 inch guide for our flashlight. Once again, I prefer the Steiner D-BAL PL flashlight, but ultimately this will come down to personal preference. Once this is out of the way, we can go back over to our muzzle devices. Once again, we're going to be going for the suppressor first, the CNC Warrior, and once this is on our weapon, we can go ahead and put the AAC Blackout 51T, as well as the AAC 7.62 SDN6 sound suppressor. We're going to then add a bottom guide, the 6 inch guide, and once this is on, we can put our foregrip. Once again, the same Fortis Shift Tactical Grip. And once this is on our weapon, now this one is complete. If we go over and look at our stats, we can see that our ergonomics are at 65, our vertical recoil at 45, and our horizontal recoil at 130. Once again, if you prefer unsuppressed, the best muzzle device is going to be the JMAC RRD 4C muzzle brake. And with this on our weapon, we can see that our ergonomics are at 84, our vertical recoil at 49, and our horizontal recoil at 142. For direct comparison, I've went ahead and built all four variations of the two weapons here so you can look at the final statistics and decide which build you personally prefer. In terms of price, I figured it'd just be best to show all four variants with their individual prices next to them. For the AK-101 unsuppressed, the total cost is 154,987 rubles. For the suppressed AK-101, the total cost is 229,584 rubles. For the unsuppressed AK-102, the total cost is 164,141 rubles. And finally, for the suppressed AK-102, the total cost is 238,738 rubles. Here, we can see the statistics of all of the weapons as well as their respective prices. Ultimately, the decision will come down to the viewer, although my personal favorite is the suppressed AK-101. While I wouldn't argue that these weapons are in the meta, or even better than their 5.56mm caliber counterparts, such as the M4A1 or the HK416, one thing that I believe is that these weapons are a ton of fun. Lately, if I run a 5.56mm weapon, it has been the AK-101 rather than an M4 or the HK just because it handles different and breaks up the monotony of running the same builds every single raid, which in my opinion is far more important than stressing over a few milliseconds of difference in time to kill. But with that, we'll wrap up the video. Although this video is a bit longer than my typical best in slot builds, being able to cover four variations of this subset of weapons is nice to do, and I hope to see more 5.56mm AKs out in my raids. If you enjoyed the content, consider liking or even subscribing to the channel. If you have a specific weapon you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and good luck in your raids.